as a senator, a representative, a state legislator, director of the Colorado Outward Bound School, Mark has been a model public servant. He has lived up to and exceeded the high standards his family has set for more than a century. Throughout all his work, Mark has always fought against the dysfunction that persists in Washington. It's true, however, that Mark can't take full credit for the work his wife and partner, Maggie Fox, shares his commitment to leaving more opportunity for the next generation. She's worked as a teacher and community organizer on the Navajo and Hopi reservations of Arizona, New Mexico, and for the Colorado, North Carolina, and Northwest Outward Bound schools. She has become a leading voice in many efforts to protect our land, our air, and our water. Their partnership is a genuine one, and it's made Mark's work possible. And Mark's staff has been among the finest, most professional, and most effective in the Senate. It has been a pleasure for me and for my staff to work alongside them on behalf of the people of Colorado. Over the past few years, I've learned that really, Madam President, there are two broad categories of people in Washington. There are those who embrace and add to the dysfunction because it serves their ideological convictions or gives them an opportunity to star on the cable news or both. And then there are the people who are actually trying to save the place. They're looking for areas of compromise to break the gridlock and to move us forward. Mark is one of the good ones. And I have no doubt he will continue to make profound contributions to Colorado and to our nation in a, in a variety of ways, but we are diminished by his loss. Every one of us, for the sake of this institution, would do well to live up to the example Mark Udall has set. Madam President, I yield the floor.